In today's video, we're going to talk about setting up a prospecting pipeline for your sponsorship sales program. It's easier than you think, but if you don't have a pipeline that you can measure at each step of the sales process, you are setting yourself up for failure. Check it out. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Bale as President and CEO of the Sponsorship Collective. Before we dive into the video, I want to make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. When setting up a sales pipeline, most people, most salespeople focus on one number, revenue, how much money comes in the door. This is not the best and most efficient way to set up your sales program. Yes, revenue is important, of course, for salespeople, but more important than that is volume. And I don't mean cold calling and dialing for dollars and e-blasting strangers. That's not what I mean by volume. What I mean instead is setting up a proper moves management system where you can track activity every step of the way. And when done properly, revenue comes in almost on its own. Now, in order to set up a sales pipeline, you have to know your numbers. Let's look at a sample pipeline. Step one in building your pipeline, you have to know your revenue goal. How much money are you trying to bring in? What is that final number that you're trying to hit? Once you know your revenue goal, you can work backwards using this methodology that I'm going to show you. Now make a simple list using Excel of each stage of your sales pipeline. Start with cold prospects, then have a stage for cold outreach or the cold call or the cold email. Your next stage is discovery meeting where you actually sit down with your prospect and talk about some of the things that they're trying to achieve and whether or not you can help them achieve that. The next stage is whether or not you've been invited to submit a sponsorship package or a proposal. The next stage is whether or not you've been successful, the simple yes or no. And instead of measuring every month or every week how much money you've brought in, measure activity at each one of these stages within your pipeline. Let's take a look with some sample numbers to see how it would work in real time. Let's work off of a couple of assumptions here. Assumption number one, your revenue goal is $350,000. Assumption number two, your average sponsorship is $10,000. And assumption three, you have 12 weeks to bring in $350,000. Why are we using these numbers? Because the math is easy. Let's take a look. So in order to bring in $350,000 with the average sponsorship of $10,000 each, you're gonna need 35 sponsors. You need to come up with your conversion rate from each stage. Now, if you don't know what your conversion rates are, you're gonna have to guess. So again, uh, for the sake of easy math, I've guessed here for you. It's very unlikely that this will be your conversion rate. 35 sponsors, conversion rate from proposals submitted 50%. So that's one out of every two proposals that you submit gets a yes. Conversion rate from discovery or qualification to proposal invited. So one out of every two meetings that you have, they request a proposal. Your conversion rate from cold call to agreeing to a discovery meeting, also 50%. That means one out of every two cold calls they agree to meet, one out of every two meetings agrees to see a proposal, and one out of every two proposals submitted agrees to give you $10,000. Sounds simple enough, right? Let's do some math and see what an average week would look like for you based on these numbers. So we've already agreed that you need 35 sponsors. Therefore, you'll have to submit 70 proposals, not cold, 70 proposals that were invited as a result of 140 discovery meetings, which were the result of 280 cold emails, cold calls, cold outreaches. So an average week then would look like this. Six proposals submitted per week, or just over one a day. 12 discovery sessions per week, or two a day, just over two a day. 24 cold calls per week. That's 
about five per day. This is why I say the key to good prospecting is volume. Your strategy should not be to send out unsolicited sponsorship packages hoping that $350,000 will come back to you without much work or without having to talk to anybody or from just one sponsor who likes what you're doing and decides to send you a check for the total amount. It's very, very rare that this happens, if at all. The secret to good prospecting is volume knowing your numbers and every single day sitting down in front of your computer and moving through your moves management cycle. For most sponsorship salespeople, you're yelling at the computer screen right now. This is too much work. I don't have that number of prospects in my pipeline to even make 280 cold calls in a year, let alone in 12 weeks. Take a deep breath. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is right now. Start to do your prospecting research. Start to move your prospects through your moves management system, through your sales pipeline, and get to know your own conversion rates and determine exactly the activity you need to engage in every day in order to hit your goals. Sponsorship is a lot of work, and it's important that you know your own numbers, your own conversion rates, and determine whether or not you can hit the goals you've set for yourself this year. And remember, the sponsorship proposal doesn't make the sale. You do. Get out there, talk to your prospects. Good luck.